In 1982, Samantha Smith was 10 years old and sent a letter to the Soviet Union. She showed concern when there was not enough peace in the world, and she went to the Soviet Union. She passed away a few years later in a plane crash, and we want to keep her legacy going. We're trying to reduce the amount of carbon footprint in the world because there's too much pollution and trash, so us kids can live a happy life. We are trying to raise awareness about carbon footprint because there's too much waste going into the air and water. Carbon footprint worsens each year and people are not willing to help stop it. Recycling uses a lot of gases that are bad for the environment. Between the transportation to the facilities where it gets break broken down, these are not good for the environment. Every hour, Americans throw away 2.5 million plastic water bottles. In the U.S. alone, there are roughly 1,654 landfills. There was almost 8,000 in 1998, but landfill companies decided to have less landfills, but ones that are bigger. In 2005, 54% of the trash in the U.S. went into landfills. The remainder was incinerated or recycled. You have other options for what to do with your waste. You can reuse it, which is, seems to be a much better choice. The only problem with reusing is that the object that is being reused needs to be completely sanitary before it can be reused. There is also ways to clean up landfills, like bioremediation, which is using microorganisms to clean up waste that is harmful to humans. It is a much safer solution to getting rid of the waste. Factories and their products add to the carbon footprint. We want to reduce this. In 2013, cake cups wrap around the earth ten and a half times. Our school age child uses an average of 67 pounds of trash per year. This adds up to 18,000 trash just in elementary schools. This nation is responsible for 25% of all man-made carbon dioxide that enters the atmosphere each year. Every day, 63,000 garbage trucks can be filled with trash. Um, by using solar panels instead of crude energy, over the course of the year, you can reduce your energy bill by thousands of dollars. By just reducing your heat to 60, you can save a lot of money, considering the fact that the average person spends over $1,000 in heating bills just during the winter. And also, did you know that the highest cause of carbon footprint is transportation? Just by biking a short distance, you can save the world. We have did a few activities to help this issue one step at a time. We made a survey about recycling and found out that a lot of people in our school recycle at home. We also went to a forum about the single-use bag ordinance in our town. The single-use bag ordinance is trying to not allow people to use single-use bags that they carry out of the grocery store. We also cleaned up trash around our school. One thing we also did is participate in Earth Hour, which is a like global thing a lot of people participate in, and it was a big impact for us. And also we sent letters out to multiple companies telling them about like factory waste. We did a lot of research, and we came up with quite a few ways that you can not only be good for the environment, but also help yourself. For instance, you know, just putting on a coat when you're cold, instead of, you know, turning up the heater. This is very cool because you can actually incorporate it to your own lives instead of having, like, some big project, so you can just kind of do it on a personal level, as well as spreading it around and making it a whole public. It's only one bottle. You could have reused that. You could have filled that up again. Good job. You get a sticker. Yes! I guess we should reuse these. Okay. Now it's your turn. How big is your carbon footprint? Reduce, reuse, repurpose!